you're going to wake sometime. Here on the tape, wherever you're at, you're going to wake sometime, sinner, and realize that there's a blood on your hand, and the blood of the Son of God, and you're guilty of murdering your sin, murdering your unbelief in His Word. You're failing to see His identification. Read the way the Holy Spirit. What can you do but stand in the judgment of God knowing what's going to happen to you? Yes, sir. The blood of John Kennedy on the hands of Oswald will be a minor thing than the blood of Jesus Christ on your hands when you stand before God. Amen. What will I do with this Jesus called Christ, Pilate said? He had been placed on his hands. And the blood of Jesus Christ is placed again on the hands of this congregation. Amen. It's placed on the hands of this nation and around this world where these tapes has been and the things has been vindicated and proved of God. Now, what will we do with this Jesus that's called the same yesterday, today, and forever? What will we do with this Jesus? Are you ready to take your place at his side? Amen. Pilate. And the same thing Pilate did, there remains three things you can do with him. Pilate tried all three. And he missed it. Three schemes that you might try to work, but it'll never work. Pilate tried to get him off of his hands. But when one's placed on your hands, it's on your hands. Pilate tried three different ways and fail. We must face the facts that he's on our hands. We've seen him in his word. We see him vindicate himself. We know that he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Is that right? Then I'm not only talking to this congregation here this morning because I'm only talking to a, a, a six, seven hundred people maybe. But I'm talking to millions in this tape that'll go around the world. He's on your hands in tape land wherever you are. You know it's the truth. If you don't, then you're blind. You can't see the Word, neither can you see God in the Word. Amen. And He's on your hands. Now, what are you going to do with Him? 